the low point in the golf downswing. If you want to make more consistent solid contact, you need to know what the low point is. This next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. This is the only channel where you learn how to play better golf from your very own home with simple drills and tips that lead to lasting improvement in the game of golf. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get, it helps me grow the channel and keep on producing videos like this so we can both keep on improving and playing better golf together. Let's get started. So let's talk about the low point in the golf downswing and why is this so important playing better golf? Well, understanding where that low point is is absolutely critical to hitting solid golf shots. Now, I've got an iron with me today and I'm going to be focusing in on the low point with hitting irons. It is slightly different with a driver and with your wood, so I'll cover that in another video. With your irons, I've got a ball set up here. What is the low point? Why is this important? Well, if I was get at the top of my backswing here that low point is that point where that club head first hits the ground that's the low point and getting that in the right spot is critical if you want to be a good golfer now where you may be going wrong and what I see with most golfers is if I'm trying to hit this ball you might be your low point might be back here somewhere and then you're coming through and scooping up on the ball or conversely your low point might be too far forward you're thinning the ball and knifing it and doing those sort of shots so ideally what we want to have happen we want our low point for irons to be just in front of the golf ball so that that means when we're hitting the ball we're hitting the ball first and then turf straight after and i'll pop a couple of videos up above that go into some extra detail when it comes to hitting the ball then the turf first but for the sake of this video getting that low point in your golf downswing is all about hitting ball first then turf that way you're going to compress the golf ball hit solid iron shots so the keys that you need to understand to be able to find this consistent low point is we've got to shift our weight properly too many golfers i see you might be guilty of this yourself is coming back here leaving weight on this side then your low point is further back behind the ball and you're sort of you're chunking in behind it and you're you're sort of trying to lift it and scoop the ball in the air that's having too far a low point this side of the ball that's very very common the other one would be coming way too far forward and having your low point finish way past the ball catching it thin. We want the low point to start just past where the ball is and finish past the target there. I'm going to show you a drill in just a moment that's really going to help embed this in your game that you can practice from your very own home. But there's a couple other sort of keys that can help you really nail this position. Now if I'm set up to a ball here I want you to think about a couple of things here. If you were to draw a straight line from where my shoulder, my left shoulder is here, at impact, to really get your low point in that just past the ball position, we want this left shoulder back to where it started or preferably even moving further towards the target. And I'll show you what I mean. If I make a swing, if I come down and shift my weight, can see here my lead shoulders moved closer towards the target side if I can do that in a golf swing I've got a really good chance of hitting down on the ball getting compression getting forward shaft lean getting that flat lead wrist all of these really important things to hit solid iron shots and you'll get that low point in your golf downswing further forward so this lead shoulder plays a really key part in that now the the second one I want to touch on these buttons on my shirt if i set up to a ball like this i want these buttons further this way at impact with my irons and if i can do that like the lead shoulder 
I'm going to compress the ball, get forward shaft lean, and get that low point further forward. So here's my buttons right on top of the ball. If I swing, shift my weight, see here, my buttons are out here somewhere. So my, my, but just by making that little change, just thinking about that, my low point will be just past the ball and through past impact there. So there's some great little checkpoints to get that low point in your golf downswing just past the ball. So I'm going to get stuck into a little drill here. I'm going to show you a couple of drills actually that are really going to help you build this into your golf game. Okay, here's our first drill, helping you find the low point in the golf downswing. So I've just got an alignment stick set up here and I've just got a little three wood head cover as a reference point here. Now you don't need to be hitting any golf shots to do this. If you don't have an alignment stick, you can do this drill inside your home, even up against a wall or a fence or just something that acts as some sort of reference point in relation to that lead shoulder. Now I spoke about this in the previous part of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up, I'm trying to get my lead shoulder set up as close to this alignment stick as possible and it's going to act as a reference point because my goal is at impact I want my lead shoulder up over against this alignment stick and touching it that way I know I've shifted my weight correctly and I'm a great chance of compressing the golf ball, getting that forward shaft lean and my low point will be shifted forward, which is what we want to do. So we're just going to be doing rehearsal swings here. I'm setting up as close to this alignment stick as possible here. See my shoulders roughly touching in line with that. And we're just going to do little swings. Now the wood cover here is another reference point. I've got my goal, if I do everything right with my lead shoulder, my club should be hitting roughly about it just in line with that, this wood cover here. And then the divot would be flying past where that is and that would mean I've compressed the golf ball and shifted that low point. So we're just gonna do some little rehearsal swings and get that lead shoulder. Just got a bit too close there, so we'll just try that one again. Just shift that one a little bit for, further up. We just want to get that lead shoulder further forward. And it's probably really hard to see that in full speed, so I'll just do one really slowly as we go back, as we come down. You can see that lead shoulder there just touching that alignment stick. Now the idea is to do a lot of this, several reps of these. I'd recommend doing at least 20 to 25 a day really slowly. Getting the feeling of that lead shoulder returning to it where it was at impact or even past impact. So let's do another one. Shift our weight. You can just feel that touching me there. And then through past impact. Give that a shot, that will really help you out and get that low point in the right spot. Drop a comment down below if you've tried this drill to find the low point in the golf downswing. Maybe you've tried another drill that's worked really well. Maybe you don't agree with uh, this drill. Maybe you think there's a much better way of doing it. Drop a comment down below. I will reply to every comment. Okay, our second drill for finding the low point in the golf downswing. This one's really simple. Practice this at home. You don't have to be hitting balls, but I'll probably recommend after you've done this at home for a little bit, work your way up to a, a driving range or even just a chipping area and do short shots doing this drill. This works really well. So once again, just got that three wood cover as a reference point and you can use obviously anything at all uh, doing this, uh, another piece of wood or a glove, anything. And all I'm going to be thinking about doing, once again I want my divot to start just past where that wood cover is and I want it to be flowing on past towards the target. So what my key is here, I spoke about earlier about botting me out too quickly and a lot of that happens from incorrect weight shift and also a lot of that flipping with the wrist like this. So the idea of what this drill is going to do, post impact I'm thinking about just a couple of things. 
I want to get my arms nice and straight like this and I want to rotate. If you can do both of those things, the arm straight and the rotation, obviously with your weight shift, you're going to get that low point moving forward. So I'm going to set up with this three wood cover roughly in the middle of my stance and all I'm going to do is do little swings. And watch the way I finish, this is the real key, those straight arms. Nice straight arms, I've rotated down towards my target. And I just want you to do rehearsal swings like this. I'll do one even shorter. Everything's facing towards the target. My arms are nice and straight. I could see that bottoming out just past where that, that three wood cover is there. I'll do another one. Just want to shift, shift that weight and rotate. Nice straight arms, shifted our weight and we've rotated. And I can, I can really see that club head bottoming out, that low point just getting past where that three wood cover is. So practice that at home, then work your way up to doing short shops. That's really gonna help you out. There you have it. Now you know how to find the low point in the golf downswing. But very important before you move on, up above here I'll have a couple of videos and they will talk about specifically the impact position. One about the lead wrist and the other one about getting into that right sort of forward shaft lean position. Really key that you watch those because they tie in beautifully with this video. Thanks so much for watching. Below this video I'll have a link to my free three secret moves video. 100% free, make sure you click on that and get a hold of that. We'll also have a link to some further golf instruction. Make sure you check that out. That will really help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.